Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing the long-awaited uh, 2000 Forerunner HID retrofit installation. Um, so please stick around uh, and check out the video and I'll see you there. We're going to talk about how to do um, adjustments on headlights with HID projectors. So stick around and I'll see you guys there. Alright, so there's one adjustment knob right there, and then there's one all the way in the bottom. A little white knob right there. And the lights are slightly out of adjustment. You can see they're slightly out of adjustment. doing anything I can't tell You can see that. Yeah. Looks like it's going higher, doesn't it? On the tail end in front of the passenger side's loop. 
because it looked like the tail's going up. Okay, go ahead and like do it. I was gonna say, do it one more time and I'll see if it's going up. Or... I'm sure people don't want to be blinded, honey. What's with the residual that's really high? That's those. Oh, the fogs are. I need the fogs on. There you go. Okay. Which those need to be adjusted too. Yeah. That looks a little low though. For the passenger side? Or no, it looks a little low in general for the lights. Do you want to raise them up towards the window? Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. So I'm tightening this side. I'm not noticing anything. I'm noticing this side come in, that's about it. Some of these aftermarket lights are very picky. And I actually shut my truck off, so they're just running on battery. It should be okay to adjust everything. truck needs to come back a few inches. It's actually too far forward. Oh. Do you want me to move this, uh... The light? No, this, uh, wrench. Okay. Uh, not sure. I was just eyeballing it when I was doing it earlier because I wanted this panel straight. I can see it just barely got closer. I don't know how well this video is going to turn out, but... I don't think I can adjust that side right now. 
Are we gonna? That side still looks slow, doesn't it? The driver's side? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not sure if the beams are supposed to meet in the middle with that little hump or not. You mean this hump? Yeah. They're supposed to be even. Each hump is supposed to be even together. So you saw how the this hump the line above is starting to come up here? Yeah. This hump and this hump are actually supposed to be in line with each other. Okay. If this hump is down here, then it's too low. So how you measure the HID humps is you actually need them, the humps to actually match. So the top line of this hump needs to match the top line of this hump. Okay, so technically then it would be a little off still. Yeah. But I think there might be something wrong with the truck. I think there might be... Like one side's crooked? Uh, yeah, the truck might be slightly off. Okay. And this line right here is not really... Because this tail... Yeah. It's not really an issue if it's a little bit higher than the hump. Okay. But I also need to find out, figure out if I need... Because you can see how this one's higher. Yeah. And that one's lower. But I'm also wondering, is this ground level? That's also the problem for this town. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Is, you know, I, I can only adjust it this way to where I think it is appropriate. Unless you want to move the truck and we can go measure it up against that, see if it's the same. All right, you want me to end the video here? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll restart the video back up in a few minutes. Okay, see you guys. Everybody, I'm back. All right, so I moved the truck to uh, the irony. I'm actually facing the Napa building. Um, so I don't have the fogs on. They're completely off. I'm only doing the headlights at the moment. Um, what you saw earlier, I got it pretty close on the other building, but I think that section of the road might be, uh, the parking lot might be slanted. I'm not sure. These are actually the demon eyes, if anybody's curious. But I got it. I got it pretty close. So if you're looking at the lines, this is the passenger side. And this is the driver's side right here. Because HIDs, when you have true projectors, they actually have a, a slope. And uh, depending on the, the HID projector, depends on what kind of slope it has, whether it's a round or it's a jagged cut. Um, so if you look about close, I might need to take the driver's side up another couple centimeters, but just for purposes right now they're straight i'm not going to be blinding anybody um i'll worry about it later you know i'll do another another adjustment video i'll do another adjustment video for whatever the the, the video cut out for some reason so um just remember when you're doing this uh light adjustments if it is actual projectors or even reflector housings um doesn't matter if it's um, HIDs or it's you know halogen bulbs but in order to get accurate results for specifically HIDs and actual projectors that run HIDs and I'm referring to professional projectors not those cheap knockoff projectors you can get online for your your vehicle make and model I'm talking about like Morimoto 5.0 projectors or 4.0 projectors the ones that you can get a pair of headlights for your specific vehicle for 400 something dollars those are not true projectors they're just a, a magnifying uh lens with um basically they're made for halogens and there is a difference between hid projectors and halogen projectors so um just be weary about what you're buying but the other note i wanted to let you know I just used a uh, measuring tape to the, the building. Um, you want to make sure that you're using a 25 foot because you actually have to measure your um, lights on a wall at 25 feet for HIDs. 
and it's the same for halogens and anything else if you need to adjust headlights but um, it's always helpful to have a helper that can help you with measuring tape and then guide you into the measuring tape uh, like I have my wife standing here she's helping me with this um, also take a note that you might want to put the measuring tape in a spot um, either on the outside of the vehicle or in the center of the vehicle and drive slightly over the measuring tape um, take your best guess of where the actual headlight is because you actually need to measure from the headlight housing all the way to the wall at 25 feet it's not you know from your bumper or you know from the driver's seat or anything like that you actually have to measure from the actual housing to the wall um, I actually had the measuring tape on the other wall. Um, actually, I had it on the outside of the vehicle, so when I pulled up, it was actually on the passenger side um, headlight. Um, you can also do it the way that we just did it here, where it's actually under the truck. Just got to take a, you know, your partner or your friend, take a best guess at the 25 mark if it's actually sitting up to the lights, which this one is actually. To me, it looks like it's half a foot shy. It's like a, yeah, about a half a foot shy. It doesn't have to be perfect. 25 and a half or 26 feet, you're still going to get an accurate reading. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that they're somewhat low and level. Don't stress it too much. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to see future updates and uh go check out my amazon affiliate links and i'll see you guys next time hopefully this helps somebody thanks for watching